The first frame of reference is everything you think to be true. All your beliefs, all your ideas about the world, all your in, the entirety of your uh, model of reality, your intellect. And then the second form, frame of reference is truth. And truth is beyond language, is beyond concept, is beyond description. So it cannot be conceptualized because it's formless. It's formless. And so there's no model in the world. There's no uh, picture in the world. There's no concept in the world that can represent accurately truth. Because truth is what gives rise to all of it. So when you're working with someone, what you want to, like what if, <laughs> what you hope is going to happen is that they get a hit of the truth, that they get a glimpse of it, that they get touched by it. And if they get a glimpse of the truth, that's going to, that's going to align them with reality, that's going to heal their perceptions. That's going to wake them up to who they really are. But they're not going to apprehend that through their intellect. It's going to hit them. It's going to touch them. It's going to... It's going to tag them. Because it's formless. It's unknown. It's a mystery. probably say something again in a minute but so so yeah that's what I that's that's what's going to do the heavy lifting for you that's what's going to do the heavy lifting for your clients that's what's going to do the heavy lifting for humanity is getting a glimpse of the truth, getting a glimpse of that second frame of reference. And so it's by definition always going to be something that's beyond our, our beliefs, our concepts, our ideas. Always, it's always going to be before that, beyond that. And it's never going to be something that we can fit into our beliefs and concepts and ideas. Because it's so much deeper than that. It's so much more than that. So, yeah, I just wanted to point again to the fact that we're, what we're exploring here, what we're getting a sense of here, what we're uh, in service of here is, is, a, is a set of principles that have been up and running the whole time, the whole time that the world has been around. But it, it's been uh, invisible to us until now as a, as a, as a species. You know, we, we haven't been aware of it. And that's, 
You know, I said yesterday that the Bateson quote of the, the biggest problems in the world are the result of the gap between how life already works and the way people think. And our evolution as a species has been a process of closing that gap. For, and we get all kinds of benefits from closing that gap. It's a good thing. And at the moment, if you look around the world, you'll find that psychology is a pre-principles field with hundreds of different schools of, you know, theories of personality and therapy and all that sort of stuff. But that's what every field looks like. Like, you did not want to see medicine before the 1880s. That was a pre-principles field. And, you know... One person's guess was as good as another's. Our principles come along once in a while. Well, no, they've been there all the while. But discovering principles, discovering a constant, that's a big deal. Happens once in a blue moon. 